So uh, the class of 2022 uh, came out earlier today. Uh, do you want to go by percentages? Do you want to go by biggest names? How do you want to do this? It doesn't. It doesn't matter. But I guess we could. We probably should start from the top with, um, you know, Tawei and Kawada, which was, I guess, number one in percentages. Um, and I mean, put it this way: like you, you. You can't get 60% if you don't, you know what I mean? It's like, it's impossible to get 60% if you don't deserve it. There's, you know, you can, to me, like, like the Vianos to me of the people who got in surprised me a lot, but it's not like I can say, well, they're not deserving because if that many people voted for them, the reality is, is that, that they're deserving. But to me, um, I didn't vote for them, but um, I mean, the rest of them, um, you know, I actually voted for the, all of the rest of them. So, um, so I can't complain about, uh, you know, the, them, you know, as far as, uh, Kawada and Tawe, um, to me, we're a no brainer. Um, yeah. Mystico, I mean, you know, realistically Mystico was going to get in this year and did, and, uh, you know, um, you know, if you really know the scene in Mexico and everything like that, especially now and his influence and, and his big drawing power, I, I thought he, you know, had to go in Abushi and Naito, um, fantastic wrestlers you know especially bushi is a fantastic wrestler naito uh you know a big you know i mean of this era you know the biggest merch seller and um you know okada and naito are the two biggest stars of the last you know several years in japan and um i don't really see any argument against him at all i mean i thought he was a you know very strong uh candidate and the viano's not as strong to me but whatever and rollerball rocco you know i mean uh uh i certainly voted for him he was a style changer in in the uk and uh um, you know, really interesting story there. You know, I mean, when I, um, when he passed away and I wrote the story, it, you know, I usually, when I write, when I really study these guys after, after they pass away and write the story, it usually like clicks, Hey, they are, or they aren't. I mean, and one of the ones who I voted for who didn't get in was, was the Royal brothers when Burt Royal passed away. And, and when I was done with that story, it's kind of like, you know, these guys are a hall of fame tag team. I mean, they star. Yep. And uh, so I voted for them. They did not get in. Um, the uh, you know I I'm sure that the big controversy and the big surprise the big surprise was was Argentina Rock and Miguel Perez not getting in um, yes. as a tag team. And um, I thought that they were. Um, I actually thought going in that they and Kawada and Tawe would would get the most votes, you know, or get the highest percentage, and uh, they did not. And there's a a lot of reasons for that. Um, they were like just they were i think nine votes shy which is oh you know and they'll probably get in i mean i i'm I'm pretty sure they'll get in next year it was just that historical category was too deep with too many different uh candidates on the ballot and the votes were spread around a lot and it was nobody got 60 percent. it was just so difficult to get the 60 percent. and the other thing that worked against them that from what i understand from talking to some people is that um the belief is that you know um rocco was the team you know perez was just the understudy rock has been in the hall of fame from day one and so essentially you're voting for miguel perez and that there's stronger candidates in that historical thing than miguel perez and i can't argue that you know i mean it's like it's like of of all of those people in that thing you know if you go through you know, all of the people that were in that historical category, Miguel Perez was nowhere close to the to the biggest. But I mean, like uh, Rock and Perez were, you know, probably with Road Warriors, the two biggest drawing tag teams in the United States. So they should be in. You know, I mean, that's mm-hmm. my and I, my opinion. They should be in. But yeah. um, I mean, and I thought I thought easily. But and, you know, they probably will end up in it easily. I'm not as mad about it. You know, like some people are very mad about it. Um, to me, it's like they're going to get in anyway. I presume if they don't get in, in 10 years, then then, you know, there's a problem, but yeah, it, you know, the problem was, is that there's just too many candidates from too many places um, in that historical category at this point um, of people who, um, you know, have good credentials and are debatable. And because of that, they take a lot of votes away and next year is actually going to be harder. So I'm probably going to have to figure out something because that category is going to be so so hard next year because we're, we're you know there's there's so many people who are moving over and things like that so uh so that's a problem area and you know aside from that i mean uh interesting stuff i think a lot of the people who were undervoted on last year uh gained did better 
in the historical category, almost almost everyone did worse because of the category being so deep. So I guess that's kind of like, I guess, my preliminary thoughts on everything. Granny, let's do the wrestling report. What do you got today? Put your laughing gear on. <laughs> my laughing gear. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, wrestle uh, load? <laughs> And Brian Hawks. I, I don't. That's what got paid after his show. I don't. I don't know what wrestle load is. <laughs> oh wait a minute! It's Wrestle Cade. Oh, oh that oh makes more sense. Where'd Brian go? <laughs> he's recuperating. He's he's broken. You broke him, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. I have never. I have. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo, and more, plus hundreds of archived shows. All in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.